and welcome to Molly's Motif. This is Emily and today I'm going to be showing you the card that I've put together for the Cut It Up Challenge that starts today. It's all about Easter. It's going to be here before we know it and so we just want to see all of your projects, your cards, your layouts that um, have an Easter theme. I'm going to be using one of the cuts from the Celebrate with Flourish cartridge. I do love this cartridge for all the different holidays and for Easter they've got four different ones. So down here, there's the Happy Easter, and then there's this bunny, and this is the one that I have cut out from my card. And then there's a cute little Easter basket and this really cute chick that's just hatched from some eggs, uh, or from an egg. So this is a really, I just love this cartridge. I think it's great. So um, this is the cut that I've used, and I cut it at two and a quarter inch, and it's just that fun bunny. And just a you know a word of advice with this cartridge, I would when you use this one, I would try to get the image as big as you can, because the the cut is so intricate with the flourish that sometimes um, if it's too small, it just doesn't cut well. So I did cut this at two and a quarter, but I wish I could have cut it a little bit bigger, but it just wasn't work going to work with my cards. So. I did the best that I could and I think it turned out fine, but I did have to slow down my speed and reduce my pressure and do multi-cut just to get the best cut that I could. So just a word of advice with that cartridge. Try to make your images as big as possible. And then as far as my card, I'm going to be following the sketch from Die Cut and Divas. They issued a sketch challenge on Tuesday and this is what they issued and I'm going to follow that for my card. All of my pattern paper is coming from this authentic 6x6 six six paper pad. And I went to the Scrapbook Expo last weekend and they had just awesome deals for their 6x6 six six packs. And this one I got for 2 bucks. But this has some awesome papers in it. Perfect for spring and for Easter. Just great pastel colors and patterns. So that's where all of my pattern paper is coming from. My card is 5x5, five five, and I just cut out some pastel pink cardstock for my card. And then my first mat is just some pastel green. Super pretty. Perfect for Easter. And I'll go down right on the front. And then here is my first mat of the designer paper. Love this design. Love that plaid and those colors. Just so me. Such, it's just my personality, so I love that. So that'll be my next mat. And then just following that sketch, I cut two strips of some more of that pattern paper. And this one's really pretty. It's got a lot of swirl. It's green and just has a lot of, you know, swirls, which I love. And I, of course, I'll get the measurements for everything and put it up on the video. But I'll just put those strips down there. And then I've got another mat and a shadow piece. This is more of that pattern paper. It's got a faint polka dot. It's yellow with faint polka dot. Um, kind of a yellow green. But then I just have more of that pastel green cardstock for my shadow. And then I'll just lay down like that. And then my cut will just go across. And I'll pop it up on some foam tape. And then I'll have two flowers up in the top corners. And I got those at Michael's just in their dollar bin. And as far as my sentiment, I cut just a, an inch and um, a shadow piece for from Mini Monograms, the scallop circle, for my sentiment. And just stamped it with Happy Easter. And that comes from Mary's Happy Days um, Cards TV stamp set, which I love. I think this one's a, a great set because you, you have the whole year. <laughs> all the events and all the holidays, so it's a great stamp set. And I just use my Colorbox Chestnut Pigment Ink for that. And that is it. Super easy to put together and I think it's just really pretty. So I'll go ahead and get this finished up. I will work on the inside, figure that out, and I'll come back and show you how it all came together. Okay, so here is my card. I got it all put together. I did go ahead and pop up this mat here on some foam tape. I wasn't going to do that originally, but I decided to. And I didn't tell you that I had rounded my corners with my large corner rounder from Hobby Lobby. And then my bunny and my sentiment are also top um, popped up on some foam tape. So there's some really good dimension on the front of the card. And um, my flowers I just tacked down with some glue dots. Everything else was just with my ATG. And then the inside of the card, I just took some more of that 
plaid pattern paper and made a side border and then took some cream cardstock um, for the mat to write your message. And I did decide to cut that cute little chick from the Celebrate with Flourish cartridge. I think it's just so cute. And I did use some pink glitter paper for the eggs just to add a little bling on the inside. Um, but again, just with this cartridge, just be careful with the cuts. You, um, the smaller you get, the kind of more pain it is to cut those out because the, the flourish is so detailed and so intricate that, you know, you just want to be careful of that. Um, but my, I did cut this at two inches. So, but I, yeah, again, just a word of advice. Try to get the images as big as you can. Um, so anyway, this is the card that I have put together for the Cut It Up Challenge that's starting today. It's just all about Easter. We just want to see all of your projects that have to do um, with this fun spring holiday that's coming up pretty quick. And I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. I'd appreciate any comments or feedback that you'd have for me. You can always check out my blog. It's mollymugsblog.blogspot.com. And we will catch you next time. Mm -hmm.